Alright guys, today we're going to go ahead and review one of the most advanced antivirus programs I have come across and it's called Bitdefender Total Security. I'm at the download page right now and I will post a link on the description of this video below so you can get to this download page. Now if you're using Windows 8, you can go ahead and download this Windows 8 security but the Total Security which we're going to review today has everything in one. It's like having all of the software that Bitdefender has in one program and total security will work on Windows 8 okay it's just they had to make one that says Windows 8 just to make you feel more secure for uh, downloading this one but we're gonna go ahead and review total security um, go ahead and click on the download button and once you download and install it this is what it looks like here now during the installation you will have to make an account with them alright no big deal alright so here it is really fancy it has this really fancy um, looks like a button but it really doesn't do nothing I click on it I thought it was a settings button but it's not really a button but it looks nice it looks nice at least but anyway uh, the layout of this program it'll show you events if anything happens you can go to settings right now it's set for autopilot that's what's really cool about this program it, it will function on autopilot for you you won't have to do nothing you can go ahead and click on user mode right here and you can go ahead and change things on your own that's what we're gonna do right now alright so if you look at these uh, the interface here first it's gonna show you the antivirus option and this is where you can scan and uh, you can go ahead and do a quick scan system scan a managed scan vulnerability scan which will check flash player Java make sure you have the latest updates on all your software alright so right now I have one of these ones a one warning here and that's because um, my vul I have a vulnerability right now I haven't installed Windows updates so that's why it's giving me that vulnerability alert okay I haven't installed updates alright so whatever it might be it'll tell you which is really nice about this program alright it does come with a firewall you can go ahead and click on manage adapters and you can change your network type to trusted home office public or untrusted right now I have it for home office because that's what it is alright set it for whatever it, um, yours is all right, and if you want to update, if you're using user mode, you'll have to update it manually. If you're on uh, autopilot, it'll update automatically on its own. All right, so you just click here to update the program. Now, there's a feature on this program. I say it's a very advanced program because we're going to get to a, through a lot of features here. See, there's a lot more features that we got to go through here. So the first one here is Safebox. Safebox is, is a cloud. And for those of you that don't know what a cloud is, a cloud is basically a hard drive in the Internet that's what I like to call it where you can put files on the internet on the Bitdefender server and you could just get it off get all your files off the internet they won't be on your actual hard drive it'll be on the internet and this is where you can drag and drop here your files so it'll be on the Bitdefender cloud alright you can go ahead and secure your privacy by using the file shredder feature all you gotta do is add, add a folder or file and and you go ahead and shred it now it says right here warning you will not be able to recover files after they've gone through the file shredder so make sure you shred files that that you truly won't need again alright because you won't be able to recover them alright alright also this program has file encryptions you click on encrypt and add files to vault you can go ahead click on add target you can add files to Bitdefender so you can encrypt for those of you who don't know what encryption is, encryption is basically making a file really hard to get to. Making it, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Encrypting it, making it as a puzzle piece, you know, so people won't be able to get to it. Making it a challenge so people can't open it. Basically, making a password for it is what it is. All right. Only you, since you know the password to your account with Bitdefender, only you can access your files once once you encrypt them with this feature alright it does have also anti-spam you can manage your friends and manage spammers through here and another cool feature is this program does come with a PC tune-up feature option here just go ahead and click on PC cleanup and you can make just pick the typical clean click next and it'll start to clean it for you let's go ahead and minimize that while it cleans it alright so right now it's cleaning it I'll let you see it one more time deleting cookies temporary internet files stuff like that 
All right, let's minimize it. We also have ID theft, and it's already activated for you. And right here, it'll tell you how it all works and why you should activate it. All right, but right now it's activated. All right, they also have a, a safe go, which, which protects you on Facebook. I haven't really taken a look at that lately because I don't really want to connect it to Facebook because I don't really know what it's going to do. You guys might want to take a look at it. But I think it has something with protecting you on Facebook. Another cool thing is they have the wallet. If you do a lot of, a lot of online purchasing online, uh, buy a lot of stuff online like eBay, Amazon, uh, you want to have a secure wallet. Basically what this is, you can type in websites here that you purchase at. Online banking, for example, when you click on add item, you can add a card or bank account, email client settings, you can go ahead and add what that is, apps and subscriptions. This is where you can put all your passwords for your banking and all of that, and it'll be secure under Bitdefender. I don't know how much you guys would trust that. I wouldn't do it just because hackers have found a way to get through any type of antivirus program. It's, it's amazing that they have it. It really helps out a lot. Sometimes I put in notepad just on a desktop information that you know hackers might want. So putting it in here would be a better idea, at least for me. So I might actually do it because um, I do it on my desktop and documents anyway, you know, so that wouldn't be a good idea to, to stay like that. So I might use the wallet here actually myself. So the wallet helps for that. So you can put all your, all your uh, personal passwords, uh, banking cards in one place all the information and it'll be secure all right another good thing about this program is there's parental control you click on configure and then you go to their website it'll take you to the control panel here if you go ahead and click on parental control what you can do is you can, I already added one user here I call him Bob seven years old he's he's a boy all right now you can go ahead and add another child here by clicking add child name age gender now how this works is you connect to their child's uh, you connect to their Facebook page all right you click you click here connect to child's page you type in all their information you uh, let Facebook allow it and what's gonna happen is the moment they log into Facebook on their phone it's gonna tell you exactly where they're at their location uh, messaging calls everything it's insane um, this could be a little a little uh, this could be violating privacy a little bit for your kids I don't know how they'll feel about this but you can do this you know there could be a reason why you want to do this you know and it will track their location their messages calls all of that which uh, for, for, you know, for Bob, since he's seven years old, that wouldn't be a bad idea, you know. Uh, for a teenager, he can get a little pissed off, I already know, because uh, I know how I was back when I was a teenager. But, but it's got this feature here. You can use it, you can actually track your children, whatever they might be, all right? Which is really, really cool. That's why I call this the most advanced antivirus software I have come across so far, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's all the features for Bitdefender Total Security. It really is total security like the name implies. You can try it for 30 days like I am right now. Now if you want to purchase it, it costs $79.95 for everything you get. And actually that's for three PCs. For one PC it'll cost you $69.95, three PCs $79.95, five PCs $129. And they'll throw in special offers if you try to go for more than five PCs. Ten PCs, 200 bucks for ten PCs, that's not bad. And then you choose for one, two, or three years. And, you know, the, uh, the price is not bad. You get a lot. I mean, you get everything. And the price, $69.95 a year, I say it's, it's fair and it's really good. If, you re if you're really serious about your children's... Uh, security or your uh, bank security I mean it does everything anything you're looking for this program will do I give this program a really really good review top five I would say it competes with actually it actually competes with um, Avira 
Oh, sorry about that. Not a viewer. A vast. It competes with a vast. My two favorites so far, because I've been doing reviews on all of them, is a vast and bit defender. But I think bit defender beats a vast now. All right. A vast actually has a way for you to go on the internet without catching viruses. All right. Bit defender is more for the family. So whatever you're looking for. If you're a single guy, I recommend a vast. If you're a family, if you have a family, I, do, I recommend Bitdefender. All right. So, okay. So that's the, that's the end of this review. Hopefully you guys have learned a lot. I know that was a lot to cover. Hopefully I've helped you out if you're trying to figure out how to use parental control and keep your wallet safe, your banking information safe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel. I will subscribe back to yours if you do. Thanks for watching. Like the video and have a good rest of your day.